Welcome to Back to School Night 2020. My name is Michael Nishioka. This is Algebra 2 at Golden High School. Uh, most students call me Mr. Nish. I've been teaching in Colorado for 14 years, 12 years at the high school level, and two years at the middle school level. During four consecutive years of CSAP, 80% of my students had typical or high growth, which means they did equal or better with me than with other teachers working with similar students. A little bit more about me. I am from Chicago, Illinois. I worked as a scrub nurse passing instruments and surgeries and as an IT manager. I have one wife, two kids, one dog, and five chickens. Uh, this is how you can tell I was in quarantine for a little bit too long. I was willing to take this picture. I play guitar and bass guitar. This is a picture of when I was at Jefferson High School. We put on a show for the students there. We love to ski and snowboard, mostly skiing nowadays. And Mary Jane is one of our favorite places to ski. We ski Loveland a lot also. Last year at this time, I was in Florida. We visit Florida a lot. And so usually uh, we take about a week and a half, two week family vacation, visit some family that lives in Florida. Uh, that's just kind of a picture of us on the beach. We obviously could not do that this time of year. Here is my schedule. So I teach honors geometry and Algebra 2 this year. Uh, I'm in room 106 the whole time, so I'm pretty easy to find. I do have to spend one of my off blocks uh, in meetings in the math office. The supplies you'll need for Algebra 2 is a graphing calculator, TI-84 Preferred. Here's a picture of an 84. You'll need some graph paper and the school-provided Chromebook. Uh, we do have we just have to figure out the procedures this year for getting them out. We have some that were available for checkout and we check them out for the semester. We can also have scholarships for calculators. So I will have that posted in Google Classroom later, of uh, the information and the form to fill out if you're trying to check one out for the semester. You can use a TI-83, but if you start with the 84 or any of the newer 84s, it makes things a little bit easier to get through the math but the 83 has the same menus, so the directions are the same, so those are usable also. You can find those on eBay for sale at a very discounted price. Uh, the goal of Algebra 2 is to help prepare students for the SAT. Everything we take is directly on the SAT. It is also on college placement tests. And if you want an updated list of supplies, you can look in Google Classroom and see what's there as soon as school starts. Algebra 2 is about the study of mathematical models. So we're looking at parent functions. How are they the same and how are they different? There's linear functions, quadratic functions, absolute value functions that were all studied in Algebra 1. We go into them in a little more detail and look at how you can perform transformations and some of their similarities and differences a lot more in Algebra 2. Exponential logarithmic and trigonometric functions are also studied. The rule of 72, if you invest in stocks, is based off of exponential growth as our mortgages. Uh, when people are talking about flattening the curve, they're really trying to get you to go from an exponential growth model to a linear growth model. So there are a lot of ways where we will see and use things from Algebra 2, and that's stuff that we will talk about as we get through our lesson. Uh, so grading and then how we'll meet this year. Grading itself, it is 30% homework and participation, 50% tests and quizzes, and 20% final exam. So there's a lot about a lot of weight given to how you demonstrate knowledge uh, in the classroom. And you'll see all of this listed in the syllabus in Google Classroom. Google Classroom is structured by unit, and you'll see meeting links and materials posted there. And then there will also be links to some videos and digital textbooks as resources classroom expectations and what you should expect to try and do in order to do well in my class. Be positive with your attitude and actions. We're all going through a lot of change, so we need to have patience with each other. Be respectful to teachers, all students in the classroom, and work hard. If you do those three main things, it'll be pretty easy for us to do well and for you or your student to do well in my class. To contact me, the best option is by email, michael.nishioka at jeffco.k12.co.us. If you send me a voicemail, it will go straight to my email, and that's actually where I listen to it, is off a computer. And the last link is for my website. I hope you have a great start to the new school year.